Do you want to make your Squarespace website multilingual but you have no idea where to start? In this video, I'm going to give you three different options to make your Squarespace website multilingual. Hi, I'm Sandra and on my channel I help business owners get their shit together so that they can save time and make more money. So the three tools I'm going to talk about are setting up two different types of navigation using a very simple CSS trick. The second one is a paid piece of code called Multilingualizer. And the third one is paid software called Weglot. And obviously I'm also going to tell you the pros and cons about all of these three methods from my perspective. So the CSS solution is really very simple. Um, to do this, for example, let's say we need to make a website with English and French pages. The way we do this is we put all of the English pages in the primary navigation and all of the French pages in the secondary navigation. And then what we do is on the individual pages, we'll hide the navigation that's not relevant using a very simple piece of CSS code. I'll make sure to link to post explaining this and giving you instructions to do this below in the description box. So this first method is great for those that are either on a very tight budget and for the ones that have simple websites that don't get a lot of updates. Because what this does mean is that every time you add an extra page to the website, you're going to have to update the code to reflect um, those changes. Because we don't want to have a page where the navigation shows up both in English um, and in French, for example. Another con of using the CSS method is that when it comes to SEO, um, you'll have all of the, your language pages separate, which is great because then they can still rank individually and have individual page descriptions in the appropriate language. Um, but it doesn't indicate to Google which is, for example, the English and which is the uh, French version. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. But for a lot of people, this will still be a really nice, uh, cheap method to use. So the second one I wanted to mention is Multilingualizer, which is a script. So it's a JavaScript based tool. Um, and how it works is that you get a license from them, you install, you can just follow the instructions, you install the code, um, and then you can mark um, the parts that are the first language and the part that are the second language straight on your web pages. Um, so this is great for people that have like a smaller budget and can afford a one-time fee for it. Um, and those that have a little bit of understanding about code because you might need to customize it a little bit. Um, and you have to be very mindful when you set it up. And that also leads me to the biggest disadvantage of using Multilingualizer, which is that um, I've used this method for quite a few clients and for my own website over the years. Um, and every single one of the clients has needed support um, because the, the way the translations are marked, um, a lot of people don't realize that they need to be um, very mindful when they um, put in two translations, they put in extra pages for translations. Um, and then they come back to me because they can't figure out what they're doing wrong. Um, and it's usually a simple fix, but I found that a lot of people need support using this method. Um, and secondly, because you have two languages on one page, um, that's just not great for search engine optimization because it won't, uh, it won't be possible to have two different languages for the page description. And it's against Google's best practices to have multiple languages on one page. Um, so this is still a great and simple and affordable solution for a lot of people. But if you're really banking on search traffic, this might be not the right solution for you. So and then the third option that we're going to talk about today is using Weglot, which is a software solution. Um, and how it works is that they host the um, translation of your website on subdomains, which is great in terms of SEO. So the big pro of using Weglot is that it's better for search engine optimization. Um, and the beauty of this system is that they have an auto translator in there. So the, when you set it up, it will automatically translate um, your text to your preferred language. You'll obviously have to go through all of the translation to make sure they're on brand and to fix them because as we all know, AI translations aren't that great yet, but it does make the translation process a lot faster if you don't have um, your website copy in multiple languages yet. So we got, I would say specifically, best for larger websites or websites that get a lot of updates and also websites where speed matters. Um, of the three solutions, the CSS solution is pretty quick. Multilingualizer can slow down the site, which is not great for user experience and for SEO. Um, whereas Weglot, when I've tried it out, it was very quick to load everything in, which is great. 
Um, and there's also big SEO advantages of hosting the languages on their own um, subdomain and having all of that combined and making sure that every page has a page description and a page title that is in the language the content's also in. Um, so for SEO and for speed, I would say if you have a larger website, Weglot is a really good option. Um, obviously, the downside of using a software solution is that you're going to be stuck with another monthly subscription. Um, but maybe that's a small price to pay if you want to add multiple languages to your website and if you want to reach people in different languages. If you like this video, make sure to watch the one that's on the screen right now. And thank you so much for watching.